Hi, it's Lee. I'm going to show you how to put an RJ45 connector on Cat5 wire, otherwise known as an Ethernet connector on an Ethernet wire. We'll be using the Radio Shack professional crimping tool, as they call it. This crimping tool has got several components. There's one here for the RJ45 plug, which is the Ethernet, one here for the RJ49 which is the telephone jack. We have a razor here for stripping these smaller wires. We have a slot here with this razor blade that's used for stripping the outer insulation and I'm going to demonstrate that for you in just a second. Then on the back side we've got a razor blade for cutting wire. This is a cutter like so. Start by taking the Cat5 Ethernet cable, put it in this slot here, and run it down about a half inch, and turn it around in a circle, pull, and voila, off comes the outer insulation without cutting the inner wires. Next, take these inner wires and undo them. There are four pairs. There's blue with a blue stripe, green and white wire with a green stripe, brown and a white wire with a brown stripe, and orange and an orange wire with an orange stripe. Pull them and straighten them out so they're relatively straight. That's kind of important just by pulling on them a couple of times, one wire at a time, and the curl that comes from the twisted wire that's inside of the cable will slowly uh, work its way out and it'll be relatively straight. These wires need to be flattened out like so, so they're all in a straight line. And then after they are in a straight line, they need to be put in a particular order. The order is shown here. You'll take a look. Post starting from the right hand side it's the orange stripe on white then the orange then the green stripe then the blue then the blue stripe then the green then the brown stripe and the brown you have to get these in order and make sure that you don't start the orange stripe on this side as opposed to this side Okay, double checking. Take the cutting side of the crimping tool and make them all an even length. Then I'm going to grab an RG45 connector and slide these in to these little tunnels and furrows that you can see. Wiggle and push, wiggle and push, till it's all the way well underneath those gold contacts. That is it. It's all the way in there, which you might be able to see by looking at the side view. It's visible to me. It may not be visible to you. One side of this has got the eight crimping prongs. And the other side has got a large crimping band. The crimping, the eight crimping tongs go on these gold leads. They drive it into the wire through the insulation and make contact with the metal inside of the eight wires. The one wide tong goes here and crimps down onto the black insulation and it holds the wire in place so that when you pull on the connector 
that will keep the connector in place without putting strain on the tiny wires. We have to insert it like so. Into here, all the way in. Now I crimp two hands pushing very hard in fact. There. Now double checking. Take a look at that. We are good to go. We'll test this connector out and that's how you put an RG45 plug on a Cat5 cable to form an internet cable. Thanks for watching.